Welcome back to another video of Cute Captures. It's been so long since our review series, but today we're back with another review. Today I'm reviewing one of my favorite series from Enid Blyton, St. Clair's. St. Clair's is a series about a girl's school hostel life, and it shows all the ups and downs in life, which I really enjoy. So, Let's get right into it. Well, let's start. These are the first three books of the series. The, S the Twins at St. Clair's, The O'Sullivan Twins, and Summer Term at St. Clair's. The Twins at St. Clair's is a book about two new girls, Patrika O'Sullivan and her twin sister, Isabel O'Sullivan. They are new to the school and they don't like it a lot. And this book shows how they fall into trouble, settle down, get good tricks, etc. It's totally their perspective. And I really like it because I think everyone starts this way when they go to a new school. Pretty stubborn, but in the end, you settle down. The second book in the series, The O'Sullivan Twins, is again the main characters are Pat and Isabel, and it's sort of their normal school life. So it's basically what happens in their dormitories, what happens in their classes, what tricks they play on the teachers, their midnight feasts, etc. This was a pretty entertaining book for me, as all the others are, because it totally showed you the life which maybe you've never experienced before. The next book, Summer Term at St. Clair's, is another term in the school, but in the summer. So there's sports and games and other subjects, which was pretty fun. Also, there are lots of new girls, and there are new girls in every book too. So some are a bit stubborn, some are a good sport, and some are totally not what you want them to be. The fourth book in the series, The Second Form at St. Clair's, is when they move up to the second form. There are two new girls, Mirabelle and Gladys, and they have really different characters, but it was pretty cool. There's also this new head girl, Elsie, who's super spiteful, and boy, I didn't like her. But they played many tricks on their French teacher, and it was another fantastic book. It turns out both the new girls had hidden talents, and it was super surprising, and it kept me in the book for quite a while. The fifth book in this series, Claudine at St. Clair's, was my favorite book in the series because there were many new characters. Angela, a filthy rich show-off, which I didn't like much and her friend Allison, a featherhead, always got influenced to the wrong kind of people, and that got me annoyed. And the main character, Claudine. Claudine was more of a cheeky French girl who liked playing tricks, and she always got out the way she wanted it. It was a pretty entertaining book, and boy, I was laughing away, because they played many tricks on their French teacher and got away with it. It was pretty cool. There was also a lot of suspense and fights in this book, which you should totally read and check out yourself. The last book in the series, Fifth Formers at St. Clair's. So they skipped the third form, they moved up to the fourth form, and now they're in the fifth, which is one of the highest ones. So now we're here as big responsible girls. That means goodbye to the tricks. But I also had pretty fun reading this book because of the new characters I was introduced to, like Alma Pudding, who was really a foodie. <laughs> but obviously, it was a fantastic book and I enjoyed it again. My favorite characters in this entire series are the O'Sullivan twins and Featherhead Allison. She was always more on her hair and her nails after a girl she met, but she was pretty funny at the same time. 
This series is really fantastic. It'll keep you engaged throughout, and I think it is a super good entertainer. I recommend these series for ages 9 plus, and I bet you girls will enjoy it. So guys, that was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I have many more reviews planned, so stay tuned. Reading, a vacation for the mind. So keep reading, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.